Hey guys, Ben here from Velflex. Now this part of our tips and tricks series, I've got visible glue lines around my transfer and how do I get rid of them or why are they there? Cool, guys, so our screen printed transfers, particularly ultra color, ultra color light, has a glue spread. We, we make sure that the transfer's got the best chance of actually adhering to your garment for that washability. So we make our glue layer slightly bigger. Now for the best part, you're not meant to see the glue spread. It's meant to push into the garment, okay? But I'm gonna take you through times when you may be able to see the glue lines and why and how to minimize those as much as possible. Now guys, if we look at this design right here, if we take a bit of a close up on that, cool. Now on this particular design here, we've got black in the design, we've also got some really thin lines, okay? So when we get down to really thin lines, proportionally it looks like there's a lot more glue around them because there's so much less physical transfer that you're gonna see, and then you've got the glue around the outside, okay? That is often when things, when you'll see the glue spread or small detail is when you'll see it similar to this lion's head that we have right here. See those thin little lines? Again, you're more likely to see a glue spread around the transfer on something like those really thin little lines, okay? Cool, that is totally normal. The glue is meant to be there, okay? But I'm gonna show you how to try to minimize those, okay? Cool, here, where you got black ink. If we were pressing this transfer onto a black or a dark colored garment, that's also where you may see that glue spread because if you've got a really dark fabric and you've got a really dark part of the design, you know, or it's black and black, okay, that glue spread can look a little bit milky and so it'll look a little bit lighter and your eye is attracted to that. But for the best part and most transfers going on a dark garment, you've got a light transfer, you've got whites and bright colors and so you don't see the glue spread or if it's going onto a light colored garment, it's a dark transfer and it's dark bold colors. So again, your eye doesn't see that glue spread. What to do if you can though, because we all know it's, we, we don't like the glue spread being visible. What can we do about it? Okay, first and most foremost is we check our temperature and pressure. Okay, because if we're not melting the glue properly, if we're not getting it fully melted, because only when the glue is melted does it go clear, okay? we check our temps and make sure that we're heat applying at the right temp. Cool, so once we know we're melting at the right temp, we've got enough heat there to melt the glue and it's, and it's going clear, it's not being left milky, okay? We're making sure that the application is right and we're peeling the carrier off when we're meant to. If you've got a hot peel carrier and you're peeling it off a little bit cold, okay, it's trying to rip at the actual transfer itself and it can almost try to peel the glue up on the edges in which you're gonna to start to see that glue look a little bit milkier again, okay? So it's about the right application. If it's hot peel, making sure that you're doing immediate. If it's cold peel, making sure that you let the transfer cool before you peel the application off. Again, the right application makes sure that the glue beds down into the fabric. Okay, that's with your first press. If you can still see glue spread around the transfer after you've peeled the carrier off, then giving it a second press will make sure that that one, you've activated all of the glue powder and it's melted right into the garment, so that's what it's gonna do for you. Two, it's gonna allow the glue to really push into the fabric, and that's where we want that glue on the outside, to bond the edges of the transfer down in the fabric, okay? So we're gonna give it a second press. now. Two things that often people use when giving a second press, a bit of Teflon over the top, okay, because they don't, they've peeled the transfer carrier. We don't want the transfer necessarily to go straight to the top plate, okay, so they're using a bit of Teflon over the top, right? Boom, over the top just like that. And here, I'll do a good example. I'll press this one right now, okay? So I'm gonna press this down and make sure the pressure is right, okay? Cool, there we go. So this is a 10 second press. Here we go. Now, I'm just gonna peel this. This is a hot peel transfer, okay? So it's immediate, it's nice and hot. Cool. Now, if I'm gonna give it a second press, cool. And if we have a look here, right, I could put a bit of Teflon over the top of it, like this, and give it another press down. And this press might be for four seconds, three, four seconds, okay? It's all we really need. And we pop it up, cool. And that's enough to really push that glue right down into the fabric. 
Now, what you need to know about Teflon though, Teflon is gonna give your transfer a glossier finish, okay? Teflon always shines up transfers a little bit, so it makes those colors pop, but it also makes the transfer look a little bit glossy. The alternative to Teflon is using something like just a thin bit of cotton. Now this for me, this is just like a bit of t-shirt, cut out from the back of a t-shirt, throw it over your shoulder if you ever need to do a second press, put this over the top. Done, just like this, give that a press. Four or five seconds for a second press with cotton, okay? Now, a bit of a personal favourite of mine using the cotton because the cotton itself has that texture to it, okay? It's got the, the cotton texture. So what we're doing is we're squashing that transfer between two textured bits of fabric, which is going to make sure that that transfer pushes right down into the weave of the actual garment itself, right? So what we get is not a shiny gloss transfer. In fact, since pressing it with the Teflon, it went shiny, I've put the cotton over the top and it's now got a much matter look, a matter, more natural look, okay? And what I can tell you is the glue spread that was around has definitely pressed right down into that fabric, no longer to be seen. Guys, if you can see glue spread, you need to be making sure that you're checking your temp your time and your pressure, making sure that you've got enough heat to melt the glue and make sure that you're peeling the application liner off at the right time. If it's hot peel, doing it instantly and hot. If it's cold peel, put it to the side and wait until cool. If you still have a glue spread, then a second press can really help activate that glue, push it into the fabric. Putting something over the top is always a good idea. Teflon will make it shine up a little bit. The cotton, my favorite, will texturize the transfer and give it a real matte finish. Guys, if you've got any other questions around glue spreads or any other challenging application, reach out to us, all the more merry to help.